fate is dying. All over Western Europe many houses of fate are closing their doors. Which is resulting in a growing number of churches being abandoned. Today we will venture inside a good example of this growing trend. Join us and discover the history of this former house of fate. We first noticed a smell when venturing inside. The floors were covered in a nurse solid layer of pigeon shit. Which gave off a rather nasty stench. The details in here truly made up for this. The church was built at the end of the 1800s in a beautiful neo-gothic style. As you can see, not a lot has changed throughout the years. What has changed though, is the heavy decay. The former grand arches are slowly crumbling. Some have already collapsed. But about the pigeons, like most churches, this one is truly infested with them. But it wasn't just pigeons. There were also a ton of mice. With a lot, I really mean a lot. Personally, I've never seen so many mice just running about. What made them strange though, was that they were not scared for humans. And that they were eating the droppings of the pigeons. Which shows you in some way that life in the church really never died. When the humans left, this weird new little ecosystem took its place. But well, enough looking at the wildlife. The church contains some pretty cool little artifacts, like old text for the chorus. But when really did the singing stop? Well, this is actually pretty unknown. I personally think it closed down around the 90s, looking at the decay. The reason can be traced back to multiple reasons. The first one is that the population in this area has decreased heavily, when the nearby heavy industry collapsed. Which resulted in a massive flight of people. With this trend, the funds to keep this place safe also ran out. Which kickstarted the entrance of decay. It's time to head up though. Er zit er nu al eentje naar me te kijken. Hier boven. We wanted to see the big organ. I had to conquer the narrow dark staircase first. As you can see, our friends were already waiting for us. On this balcony, the true beauty of this church could be witnessed. And we could finally look at the organ, which is actually 100 years older than this church. With this site, we will also finish off our exploration. It's always a bit two-sided to see such beauty in pure neglect. It's reality though for most of the closing churches. The only thing we can do is having faith that one day this church will be restored to its former glory. <laughs>